Hey everybody, this is Call Me Ghost back on another episode of Call Me Gamer, and we are continuing Outlast. I got one single jump scare in the last time, and read a lot. We're gonna start trying to make these a little bit longer, so, Tyler, if you would, do you remember... There we go. Remember, it's R3. Ooh, look at that body. A, that is a dead body. Wow, why are you running? Okay. They killed us. Yeah? They caught out. Okay. The very. Oh, shit. You can't fight them. Okay. You have to hide. Got it. Can unlock the main doors from security control. Okay. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Boy, I wish I could right now. <laughs> Try to jump. Oh my god, that's fucking Chris. Oh, you gonna, shit. Hold on, bro. He went in the door. You gonna turn the night vision off or are you just gonna waste fucking battery? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. You just. Oh, fuck, Tyler, you fucked us. You put a bat. That's the second time you put a battery and you wasted all our batteries. It's all good, bro. You can't Do get I have to? No, you can't get in there. You have to go back. Not, not back, back, no. Do I have to go. Well, so there yeah. has to be stuff in here, bro. Oh, wait, is that a battery? Take a battery, yep, okay. Nice! Now don't put it in immediately. Okay, turn Michael, around. just just ask and do I have to actually go through the door? No, you don't have to go through the door. No, you don't go that way either. Bro. You go over there. And you go so through that gap. Yeah, okay. Little fish. Oh, shit! And we're dead. That was the game. Bye, guys. <laughs> Signing out. Oh, boy. Here we go. And who are you, then? What's her name again? Miles. Miles. I'm Miles. Miles hails per hour. <laughs> I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Nope. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Great. That's just absolutely wonderful. It's not, but we can say it is. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. So I've escape the asylum, access security control to unlock the main doors. Okay. Okay, so you want to read the notes? Okay, I'm inside. I'm inside! Bodies everywhere! Blood! Burn marks! Heads lined up like bottles behind the bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Re Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitations, exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another, another billion. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. Okay. How did Murkoff think they would uh, make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spike. Tells me to get the fuck out and then... Di dies. Sorry, I'm stuttering. <laughs> would that have been a good thing to hear? That would have been a good. Th would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave early the way I came. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh god, I went the wrong way. Nope. Can't go that way. Are you gonna go, Tyler? That's a... It's a toilet, Tyler. Yeah, you better explore that way if we ever need to hide somewhere later. Is there batteries in here at all? Well. Hey, battery! I'm sorry? Oh, they locked us in here. Got it. At least I think they locked us in here. Sorry. You know, I didn't notice the dead bodies before. For like, real? Yeah, those two right there, I didn't notice them. Didn't know. Oh, they just shut the door. Okay, there's security. Door, is a key. door needs a key card. Okay. We need to get a key card.
Okay, bro. Well, hey, look, a document. Okay, pick it up. All right, press the left trigger. Not trigger, press the, press this one. Yeah. Oh. Okay, documents. Let's see documents. Okay. Project Wall Rider. Uh, on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of profit Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contained enough ambiguous, am, yeah, ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence as, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties as with the others however family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure Con uh, continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen. Oh, Helen. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah. what, what did next, he say? Next page. Helen. Helen Granite. Murkoff Legal Mitigation. Yeah, Mitigation Department. So, um, Helen, we have established, has an old British man voice. Yeah. That's just what happens. <laughs> okay. Okay. So clueless as to what the fuck is going on. I can't believe I jumped in my first episode. <laughs> yeah, go fuck out of there. Go open the vent, go open the vent. No, wait, go back. I feel like he's gonna... Fuck you, die. No, well, why would you... Well, well, you in the vent! Dude, what are you... Oh my gosh. What are you talking about, bro? I like I don't know. I I saw a scenario in my head where he was running after you from in that door, like after disturbing him, and I was like, "Go hide in the vent." You can't get out yet. You need I a know, key card, I know. Tyler. I'm bro, not okay, bro. Huh? Are you alright? You had the first jump scare. I just don't. I have no idea what I'm doing, bro. I get you. I get you. That's all it is. I just have no idea. what Got to explore and figure it out. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We can't rely on Markiplier's places all the time. What? Oh, I think there was a body that fell. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Huh. Okay. Well, um... Maybe you check in the computer places? Check in the Like, offices. over there? Yeah, those offices. Maybe check in there. Well, there's well, I mean, a desk in front of there, so I mean... Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I don't hear. Why do I feel like you moving around so fast is gonna get us in trouble? Document. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. That's no. Oh, doc yeah, document. Okay. Project Wall Rider. Chris uh, Wall. <laughs> anyway, there. Uh, okay. C L W or Walker. So this is Chris Walker. Okay. Gender male, age thirty-two. Observing patient, Dr. Rudolph Winokur. Notation by Dr. Walsh. Okay. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. <laughs> PP. Uh, unsafe to progress beyond <laughs> stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostic. Uh, spirometry revealed light to medium uh, bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consist with patients' reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered. Uh, to accommodate his enormous dick size. Um, <laughs> extensive dermal eruptions as con extensive dermal eruptions as consist with failed uh, morphogenic engine circular activity. He claims the skin ripped cellular cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his I almost said foreskin. His forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Ooh. Seems to have some boyhood experience with uh uh, Turatara lizards uh, and their partial eyes. Parietal, parietal eyes. He has expressed. Thank you guys for helping me out on this you're, on this journey of bi like big words. <laughs> he has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Are they too fat? Attending orderlies 
should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a ma manic exaggeration, right? No, wait. No. Exaggeration, no, okay. Of military security protocol, a continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Okay, and Chris Walker was the guy who threw us down. Yes. Yes, okay. That's the guy that... Yeah. That guy. I remember watching Mark Warriors play through this and, like, not knowing where he got the name Chris Walker from. Oh. Oh, God. How do you shouldn't just... Okay. Well, um... You need to get around them. Okay. Okay. The music is not helping, by the way. This, this it does a great atmospheric job with this music. Uh oh, I'm okay. I mean, I'm not okay, but. You ready? No, of course not. Key card. Man. Okay, notes. Oh, so it's just. Oh, no, I think it was just telling us our inventory right there. The key card for. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. <laughs> well, that's not it. <laughs> I got that vertical dog. Oh, man. Michael has his camera up on us again, know, so that's right. not gonna be good. I'll be doing it randomly. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Sexy. Whenever you're like, oh, hey, something Sexy. might happen. Yeah, it's just watching some white uh, noise. Oh, really? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> okay. Why? Okay, did that get you too? Yeah. Okay, that wasn't just You're, me then. Well, I mean, it's kind of like baiting you into like that happening. Because he's... Get he's, out of there. What are you doing? Well, I'm going. Well, I can see that now. But... Okay. Okay. All right. No, wait, front doors, front doors. Get, no, wait, no, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. What? Do you need to do that? Like, right now? Soon. Hide. Wait, maybe not. Yeah, close. Right. Sure. Okay. Uh, why would you sit down, dude? Come on. Okay. okay. Oh, he's got like it's just one of those things, man. It's just got one of those things. Okay. Oh. Oh god. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just wait a minute. Oh no. I'm There's going. no way some guy's not gonna try to run into this room. Yeah. Because it's Chris. Oh you're right, okay. It's been a while since I've watched the playthrough of this. He's just a big dude. He's a very big dude. It's hard to believe he's 32. Should I just start running? Dude, why would you? <laughs> you good thing you didn't. Thick. Good thing you didn't hide in that one. Damn. Don't do this. No, go. Don't do this. Can I pull Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> so. Alright, so we're. Wait, we're uh, on uh, yeah, this. yeah, we're. Okay, so do I need to run downstairs or what do I need to do? I think you need to go downstairs, yes. Right. Michael, you can tell me at least where to go. So I'm not does Michael lie. even know? Michael, do you know? Michael does know. Michael, where are we doing? Do I run downstairs, though? You gotta restart the generator in the basement. Okay. So, yes, you go downstairs. Well, there's basements that are through cross spaces upstairs. Oh, well, those are some loud uh, flips. Yes. Oh, you didn't. Okay. My phone is going off like crazy right now. Is it? Yeah. Okay. What well, we got? Documents. 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 Those. Okay. CIA hypnotic. Okay. To file. Subject. All right. On Wednesday, 10th, February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Um, material abridged. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, 
was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state, no further suggestion. With no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method in her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic state. The fa and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill, quote, Miss uh, Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to... Sorry about that. You got, I was waiting uh, until you got the... To the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun in at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestion... Suggestions were made both for awaken and express complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened stage state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Okay. All right. All right. You want to go for twenty minute sessions? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. All right. Oh, oh I was gonna say, can you imagine if you turn off somebody's right in front of you? No, it's gonna be like that. What? <laughs> well, somebody's there. Restart the generator, Tyler. Come on. Fuck! Okay, let's turn on the gas box then. Well, fuck that, I guess. Well, that's a body. Um. It's also a body. I think they're out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're up here. Alright, you might have to get these and because they're loud after you turn them on. You got I think you gotta turn that handle to the left. Damn it, Tyler! Batteries. Okay, now hide in the closet real quick. I would turn off night vision for now, that way we can save some battery. Let's just wait a second because... Okay, yeah, he's coming. No, it, it shouldn't be Chris. It shouldn't be Chris down here. There's no people, yeah. Oh. Well, then now what? It's just more of a... One to go. Oh, well, somebody's coming in. There we go. There we go. Glad we waited. There we go. Who is that? Because oh, they, yeah, they don't turn them back off, do they? I uh, hope not. That would uh, suck. Yeah, no, that really would suck. Okay. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. He's down there. You know he yeah. is. So do I need to? What do I need to do? Is okay. That, so if you go out, oh, let me change out the battery. Okay. So if you go out this door and go like that way, you will find the other room that has the other generator. But let's see where he goes first. Well, I'm gonna have to go. I was, for a second, I was like, there's nowhere to hide! <laughs> what? Are you okay, Michael? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. What? You all keep on forgetting not where to hide. Uh oh. Really? Really? Was he floating? Damn you, Hong, as shit! Look at him feet. <laughs> Just another ghost? You are. Yeah, call me ghost for sure. Oh, you don't look, don't look at me like that. Yes, I'm very, I'm very proud of that one. That was a good one. I enjoyed it. Okay. Look at my hand. Do my hand looks oh, weird. His, yeah, his, your hand looks really fucking weird. All right, so now what? We got to... So that was both of them. So now I gotta go to that center platform, right? I think he's gonna go there first. But yes, you do have to go there. Oh, and 
the main breaker. Oh God, he, he, he's, Shit. Getting, he's getting you, man. I know, I'm getting, running. You, Damn it. You're getting got, friend. Heck. Leave me alone, stupid. Get out of there. I'm going, dude. Yeah, you fucking better be. Why the hell would you stop? Oh, that's why. Heck. Well, that's a wall. God dang it. Man, I don't... I think I'm fucking up the whole gliding across shit. Probably. Well, God, I got hit. Fuck. No, bitch! Ah, leave me alone! Fuck. <laughs> God, I can't get out the door. <laughs> I'm fading quick. I'm running out of batteries. Oh God, why did I do that? I can't see. <laughs> well, there I you are. Yeah, I'm done. I All can't right. see shit. Oh wow, look at the remote. It's going red because you died. No, I'm dead. All right, where's it gonna put you back at? Is it gonna put you like all the way back? And it's like if we have to redo that section again. Well, we had to redo the section. Okay. Well, then that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm going to try it. You had the first jump scare. I had the first death. All right. So, okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't touch, the, don't touch the button yet. We'll have the... Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. We've been Call Me Gamer, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. I died.